Is China genetically engineering their babies to be smarter? Pfft, who isn't? Hey friends, Trace here for DNews. The internet is abuzz with talk about genetically engineered babies, thanks to a piece in Vice by Alex Error. China is planning to genetically cultivate their population. The internet seems to think that this article is proof the Chinese will inevitably genetically modify their population into super beings. And as we know, the internet is never wrong. Well, if we select to keep people from having major genetic disorders, it's okay. But not if we pick for height or beauty or athleticism or brain power. The Vice piece revealed that a company called BGI is looking into the human genome to find the genes that control intelligence. They'll then be able to select the most intelligent sperm and egg from a couple and use that for their baby. It's not actually genetic engineering. They're not playing with the DNA. They're just spotting the best DNA and purposefully selecting it. It's very much like how farmers genetically modify their cow herds by breeding the best milkers or beefers or whatever together. Stephen Sue gave a talk at Michigan State University about this topic. Definitely check that out. He explained how very soon we will all have enough genetic knowledge to do this with our children. The cost of gene sequencing is getting exponentially smaller, while the power of computers is doubling. In the not too distant future, maybe the next 10 years, we will be able to sequence a whole genome of sperm and egg and look for specific genetic markers. Sue shows that even with coaching and tutoring, there's not a huge statistical difference in test scores. But if you could select to impregnate with the best sperm for intelligence, you might bump it up a bit. And after several generations, you could conceivably up the smarts of a whole population. It's also important to note that China still maintains a policy where, unless you pay a fine, you're only allowed to have one pregnancy. So in the minds of new parents, they just want the best kid that they can get. From what I've read, selecting for desirable traits isn't unusual. Ultrasounds are routinely done both here and in China to learn how a fetus is developing. And if developmental problems are discovered, some choose to end the pregnancy. What Sue and Vice are discussing is the idea of filtering even earlier in the process. The scary thing is the Gattaca idea, where humans are selected for specific traits like intelligence, and those who choose not to do that are deemed less human. My concern is the natural way things are done might not be perfect, but until we know more about why a sperm picks an egg and how that process happens, we might select for things that are good for society, but bad for humanity and our species. Would you want to pick a prodigy for your progeny? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Come ask questions questions and talk science. We do two videos a day. We thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Trace. See you around.